In this video, we're going to take a look at how to make a gambler roof in Revit. Right now, you can see the end result of where we're going to go. I'm going to take a second to delete that, and let's look at the level one floor plan. I know I want my gambrel uh, end to be on the north and south side of the building, so I'm going to go to my elevation, I'm going to go to my north view, and to my south view. What I can do here is draw the profile of the gambrel roof, and then we'll extrude it back and add the overhangs that we need. So for roof, I'm going to hit the flyout menu underneath roof, roof and go roof by extrusion. Once I go here, I have to pick a work plan. So essentially, I have to tell Revit where I want to draw this profile of my roof on. And so I'm going to say, pick a plan and say, OK. I'm going to select the edge of the wall on the building that I want my roof to be flush with. This can save us some time later on with the overhang. Uh, then it's going to ask me basically what level do I want to reference for this roof. Um, so that way, we can assign it to a particular level. And if we want to offset, set it as well. Normally, when you draw by extrusion, you don't have to mess with this at all and just say OK. The next thing I want to do is draw a reference plane. <clears throat> Since I want this gamble roof to be symmetrical, we're going to draw half of it and then mirror it over. I'm going to snap to the midpoint of the line of the uh, wall and then draw a line going up. This is also where you could draw a couple other reference plans if you wanted your gamble roof to be at a particular height uh, before it changes uh, levels or slope. So let's say I wanted to go up about eight feet, and then at its very peak, I want to have it top out, let's say, 15 feet tall. Draw a couple reference planes there. Now we can use those um, as we draw the profile of the gambler roof to snap to. So I could go over and snap, um, and then change my direction and snap again. Hit escape. If I want this to be a little bit less, let's say I want to maybe go up and slope two feet. I can edit and change that as I need to. If we want to edit the dimension here, we could also add another, another reference plane, draw that over, and make sure that we're going over the amount that we want to go when we go to slope up. So let's say I want that to be at exactly eight feet. I can change that, and then I can adjust my lines accordingly. You need to make sure that you have no gaps in your sketch on this profile. Otherwise, it won't extrude properly. I'm going to go and extend this out for an overhang. And I could actually reference off the edge here and have exactly the uh, distance of the overhang that I want as well using reference plans. So showing you how to do that real quick. You can draw a reference plane at the edge of the house. And I can draw one more coming off. Just need to draw that straight. Click on your reference plane. Let's say I want a two foot overhang. And then now I can snap my line straight to that two foot overhang. Now that I have my profile drawn out for half the house, I'm going to do a mirror. So I'm going to click on mirror, select my two lines for my gambrel roof. I'm going to then right click, control click to select both. Right click, finish selection. Select your middle line that you had drawn before, and then I'll mirror it over to the other side. I don't need to draw the thickness of the roof because that will be based on the uh, property of the roof that I'm drawing out of. And in this case, it's a generic 12 inch roof. I'm going to hit the check mark to finish this. And let's take a look at it in 3D. So now in 3D, we can see that we have the gamble roof that's been extruded back. By default, it will go based on the, uh, the thickness of your building or the depth of your building. When I go to uh, make the overhang on the ends, I'm going to do that in my east or west elevation. Select the roof, and by default, Revit's going to uh, make this thing symmetrical on both sides. If you need to adjust it on one side or the other, you can do that with dimensions or just simply by dragging this arrow. I'm going to go and make this a one-foot overhang on both of these ends. So I'm going to change it to 42 feet, 8 inches, where one foot will be on either side. Now that I have a one-foot overhang on both sides, and I'm happy with how this looks and the profile. I'm going to select my walls. I'm going to select one of them here in this case. And then I'm going to right click and say uh, select all instances in entire project. This will select all my exterior walls. And then I'm going to say attach top base and select my roof. And now we'll go up to the roof. Don't forget to save and subscribe.